and I was sitting next to my, my elder, Angie Creer, who has been with me along this journey the entire time. She's the one who brought me around our Métis Nation homeland to hear the stories of our survivors. And when Angie and I were sharing a book and reading the book together, I pointed out the words, I am sorry. She broke down into tears and it was so moving because I know how important that is to her. And I know how important those words are going to be to our survivors back at home which is why we will continue to advocate for Pope Francis to share those, those words, those sentiments, what he's learned and what he's heard from us back on our homelands. Behind the lies, behind the lack of justice, this Pope, Pope Francis, decided to go right through it and decided to speak words that First Nations, Inuit and Métis have been longing to hear for decades. It will be now up to us as Indigenous people on how we internalize that and how we respond to it. But in the moment I couldn't help but thinking about how people can change the world and how individuals can see that there is justice and that there is a path towards justice. And it certainly made me think uh, of all the other people who can act with us in paths to justice associated with reconciliation and also the justice for sexual abuse and violence against children. The moment is like when you're going out there in the snow and you see fresh moose tracks. That's the feeling that I have because there's a possibility. However, you have to also still do your, 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 your knowledge. You need to use the knowledge that we have to live with the land, to also put food on the table, is that you still need to do work. You still need to go tracking that moose. You still need to uh, look at the elements, that the wind, the sun, and where the moose goes. These are all the things that we all have learned to be who we are, to put food on the table. 